Welcome back to my YouTube channel everyone. If this is your first time here, my name is Daniela and today I have for you guys this... I keep... What is this? I don't know what to name my looks. I'm so bad at naming looks. This is my Halloween spiderweb makeup tutorial. It's really dark and red and cute, if I do say so myself. It's really easy for the most part. It's just a lot of blending and patience. If you guys like this look, make sure you subscribe and recommend me stuff down below to do because this is only my third video and I'm running out of ideas. I'm going to go take this off and I'm gonna go watch Stranger Things season 2 because that's all I've been doing anyways. So if you want to see me create this cute spiderweb look then just keep on watching so first i'm taking sugar pills press eyeshadow in suburbia and i'm taking my morphe 505 brush and i'm putting that into my crease just blending it out of course i'm going to be taking that into my lower lash line as well And then I'm just taking my Sonia Kashuk number 109 brush and I'm just blending that out with no additional product on the brush. Now I'm taking Sugar Pills Pressed Eyeshadow in Love Plus and this is my favorite red eyeshadow in the whole entire world. And I'm taking my Morphe 441 brush and I am also taking that into my crease. And I'm building up this color just because I don't want to make it go past the suburbia color. So it does actually turn into like a pinkish red rather than a true red. But that's what I was going for anyways. So yeah, so take your time with it and you know, dip in your brush. What does that make sense? Dip your brush in once and then, you know, blend and then go back in as much as you need to. course don't forget to take this into your lower lash line damn i look so spooky and i'm taking my morphe 505 brush again and mixing suburbia and love plus together next taking sugar pills pressed eyeshadow and bulletproof i'm picking up my bh cosmetics number 10 brush from the crystal quartz brush set it's just a standard pencil brush and I'm tapping it into my outer and inner corner, which you will see later on. I'm only tapping this color in. I'm not necessarily blending it in yet. I'm just gently tapping and just swiping those edges to get a nice fade rather than a harsh color so I can blend it later on. So you can see I am tapping and then swiping gently. So now I am taking my BH Cosmetics number 6 brush from the same Crystal Quartz brush set and I am picking up just a little bit of Bulletproof and I am connecting the outer and inner corner together. I am taking my time with this, again just picking up a little bit of product at a time. Just because working with black eyeshadow, I think it's really easy to get it to look really raccoony and just more blown out than you would want it to be. So again, take your time. Patience is key. And from all the blending, you do lose a little bit of the pigment from the Bulletproof shade. So I am just going back and putting in more color on the inner and outer corner. Forget your lower lash line. But on my lower lash line, I'm only putting it in on the inner and outer corners as well. So I am taking ColourPop's pressed, where is this? A super, super shock, super shock pressed pigment in 
what, what, what was it erotic i think yeah it's called erotic but listen i'm so pissed i'm so pissed because i just found out they discontinued this color it's my favorite freaking color of all time so i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm just taking just a random flat brush and packing it in the middle color pop you and me honey we gonna have to square up like you gonna have to put up your hands because how could you discontinue a beautiful color like this so going back in with the bh cosmetics number six brush and bulletproof i'm just blending it in with the erotic shade and i am taking a real technique <laughs> a real techniques what brush is this this is the accent brush and i'm taking erotic in the middle of my lower lash line so now i will be taking my elf liquid liner brush and preferably you're gonna need a brush with a thin brush tip on it and i am just doing a regular old wing i just start out from the outer corner and i use the tail of my eyebrow as a guide to see how long i want my wing and yeah i just connect it to the end of my eyeball or my eyelid or you know just just you know just watch me do it it's it's a lot easier if you just watch me now I am just gently using the tip of the eyeliner brush and I'm going to make one slightly curved line and then I will be making a second line and then a third line. So then I'm just going to be making a slightly curved line, another, uh, I don't, I don't really know how to explain this step, but you know, you're just going to make three curved lines and then you're just going to make another three curved lines on the bottom of those lines. Just Google a picture of a spider web and you will see what I am trying to achieve here. Make sure you have enough product on the eyeliner brush because my lines ended up getting a little jagged jag is that the word jagged because first my eyeliner is dry and second i'm a buffoon and i didn't put in enough product on the brush so for lips i'm taking kat von d's everlasting liquid lip in vampira i think that's how you say it also don't mind the growing red bump on my forehead some bitch ass mosquito bit me so yeah there's that So I am just taking my glitter glue, glue, my glitter glue, and I'm using the one from Violet Voss, and I'm just going to be applying that on my lips. Please make sure you don't swallow the glue. And then I'm taking my super glitters, glitter and saber red, and it shows pinky, it shows up pinky on the camera, but it's actually more of like a blood red. And so I'm gonna be applying that with just any random flat concealer brush. Also, please, for the love of God, also, don't swallow the glitter. I am not responsible if you end up going to the hospital or you get some weird infection or whatever the hell just happened. Just please, please, please. I'm too broke to be sued, so be careful. And you should be using a cosmetic grade glitter. Please don't go to Michael's and buy a glitter and do this. Oh my God, you are gonna stress me out if you do. And 
this completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you tried it, make sure you tag me on Instagram. My information is down below. And yeah. So I hope you guys have a safe Halloween and party hard. But you know, just don't party too hard. Because I want y'all to be safe. But have fun. But don't die. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Goodbye.